Welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all of the time and worthy to be praised. He is the Most High God. El Elyon, El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He's Je Jehovah Gibor Milkama. He's the Lord who's mighty in battle. And we have to understand that the battle belongs to God. It doesn't belong to us. And learn to come sit down and trust him. Trust what he told you. Trust what he's saying to you. Trust what he's going to say to you. Uh, he, he, if you need comfort today, ask him for the comfort. One of the psalmist, I think it's one psalm, Psalm 119, where the psalmist asks for the comfort of his love. You can ask for the comfort of his love in whatever situation you are in. Whatever the hurt, whatever the pain, whatever the, the fear is, his love is greater than fear. It, it kicks fear out. It drives it out of your members, out of your body, out of your mind. The Spirit of God is working in you, delivering you from the spirit of fear. He's pouring the love of God into your heart. He's showing you. All we have to do is come sit down and trust the Lord in what he said. He will reveal himself to us as we desire him more than we desire the feeling that we're having, more than we desire whatever's going on around us, more than we desire this world and our feelings. I want to say our feelings because those feelings come up and they begin to, to direct your steps. As a man thinks, or as a woman thinks, so is she, or he. They, they will walk out how they feel. <laughs> but greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The Lord is reminding us of all truth. He's fighting a battle that you can't see when he reminds you of the truth. When we come and we lean on him, rather than what we're thinking about. You take that care, that thought, and you put it before God. And the true light will shine on it. The true light will shine on it and reveal to your heart, to your mind, the action you ought to do, the place you ought to stand, the place you ought to sit, the place you ought to walk. The Lord will direct your steps with his thought. See, the Lord's thoughts are good, not evil. We really should trust him. I mean, we, he knows how to open doors in our lives so that we can walk through and see success. And he knows how to shut doors that have been open and, and, and they're hurting you and they're not helping you and they're not aiding you in your salvation, not causing to you to take the, uh, to grow. <laughs> grow in faith. Grow in the strength of the Almighty. Be the best witness of God you can be. Well, there's plenty of tests and plenty, plenty of trials that we'll all have to walk through because we are in this world and as we're, we're in this world we're walking through the valley of the shadow of death but God has not given us a spirit of fear he's given us his spirit who is the spirit who gives us the the strength the power who reveals the light of God the true source of strength comes from Elohim, comes from Jesus Christ, the Son of God, comes, comes by way of understanding who he is. That's why we go and we sit in the secret place of the Most High, and we delight in him who's there with us. When we take the time to sit with the Lord, he reveals truth truth is light is the light that lights every man every person on the earth John chapter 1 and verse 9 I think I was started in the true light has come the, the true light which gives us gives light to every one coming into the world it's interesting isn't it there's a true light which gives light to everyone who comes into the world. 
everybody had this spark in the be beginning of their life in this world. It was a, a bright light, a spark. <laughs> The start of that spirit, the start of that soul, the start of that person <laughs> in this life. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy even while we're in the womb. When the seed is being formed, he's saying something. The greater is he that is in you because you called on the name of the Lord, because you said, yes, I believe Christ. You see, when you said, yes, I, I believe Christ, you saw something in you agreed to the light that he is. It was that spark that first, when you first were born, when you were first put together, knitted in your mother's womb, there's something about you that leaped at the light. That light is Christ Jesus, the light that lights everyone, especially everyone that has come into the world. And when the Bible says everybody, it means everyone ever born. This is why we can cast our care before the Lord and pray for people that hurt us. We can pray for people that are in trouble. We can pray for angry people. We can pray for evil people that the Lord would open their eyes. The Lord would open their eyes and bring them to salvation. But don't just do it. <laughs> know who God, our Father is. Know who Elohim is. Know who Jesus is. Know who you are in him and your purpose. I mean, he will reveal your purpose. We ought always to pray. When we know who we are, we can pray. We can sit before the Lord and let him reveal the truth to us. True light, which gives light to everyone born, everyone coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. The world was made through him. And in, in the Bible, it says somewhere, that it was made by him and for him. God created the world and everything that is in it. Everything that is, everything that we see and everything that we don't see, <laughs> even if it's far away from him, God's the one who created it. I want us to cast our cares before the Lord and stop being so overwhelmed by the trouble that is in this life. Trouble is going to be in this life because we are walking through a world that's laying, laying in wickedness and they don't even know it. I could see if they'd fully seen the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, if they truly knew Jesus and truly knew that he is the Son of God and that he died and he rose again if they could just see it i i could see if they could see it but because they can't see it i want to remain the light that jesus has changed my life into he is the true light and when we agree with the light that he is the light is the life of man, isn't it? It's the life of mankind. When we agree with him, we become light like him. We, re we reveal Jesus. Motorcycles are loud. <laughs> we reveal Jesus. We are the reflection of of the Son as Christ is the reflection of the Father of heaven and earth. And I beg for us to get the word in our face and eat and drink Jesus. Get an intimate relationship with the one who loves you so, so much. The one who created the world and all that there is in it is, is, is 
waiting for us to just come on, come on, sit down with him and let him shine on your heart. Let him shine on you. The issues of this life might not go away. May not go away. But the Lord is with you. I want to go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Verse 17. I don't know why this keeps coming up. I mean, I do know why. But we're so moved by everything that's going on around us. And some of us have... You know, we got saved and we were in the situation. We want to get out of the situation. We're begging God, take us out of this. Stop this mess. Stop this madness. Help me, help me. Some of us are going to go through some trials. That, I mean, you got to go back to the book of James and look at it again. See what he's saying. And you're wondering if you read the book of the first chapter of James, why he says, take it, you know, be joyful about this temptation, this trial that you're walking through. It says, goes on to say, let patience have her perfect work in you. You know, this situation, God is desiring that you trust him. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the ending. The true light is, is, is with you, and you can have all the information, all the love, all the comfort that you need. To stand strong and just pray. Now, if you're in an abusive relationship, I'm very sure the Lord doesn't want you to stay there being somebody's punching bag. But I will tell you this. Get into that secret place. And, and before I read this, and I, I want to give this quick uh, testimony. Years ago, years ago, <laughs> I was married to my first husband. And no, I don't have that many. Just, just got one more, second one, and that's it. I'm done. But with the first one, I remember that we couldn't stay together for six months. I mean, three months, six months. He was always cheating on me, going out and doing whatever he wanted to do. And he was mentally and physically abusive. One day I had so had enough. And I just got to a point where I needed help. But I didn't know what to do. I took my kids downstairs to the neighbor's house and I said to her, if he, if he knocks on this door, do not give him my children. Do not give him my children. And I went outside down the street a little bit, about a couple of houses away, and I'm standing in some neighbor's bushes. <laughs> and I didn't know the Bible then. I'd got saved when I was eight years old, and I knew God existed. I knew he was, he was there. I knew somebody was hearing me, and I just prayed, prayed, and I didn't even know I was praying, and I heard a voice tell me what to do. It was a good voice. It was like the voice of an angel speaking to me, saying, go down the street to the phone and call the police, and when I called, went down the street to the, a long way, too, <laughs> I went down the street to the phone, that's when they had phones phone booths and phones inside stores and things and I called the police and I told them and they came and they, they told me to stay go back to where I was and don't come out until I saw them and they came in and they asked me what was wrong and I told them all over again and I said I just want to leave I just want to go and when he, he, well, he took me they all took four cops <laughs> took me inside the house to pack up a few things and they kept him off of me kept him away from me barred his way like they were almost like angels standing in his path <laughs> guarding me to get whatever little things I could get and they took me and the kids to my father's house and that was the end of that situation God closed the door that needed to be closed in my life 
So I'm just telling you that because the Lord knows how to open doors and he knows how to shut doors. He's there for you. And the little bit that you think you know, you don't need but a mustard seed of faith to just talk to him because he's there. He's with you. He hears your voice and he wants to help. Even though we might be left in situations where we have to grow and mature, be silent and trust in the Lord. Even though we have to be there, it doesn't mean that we have to take the abuse and, and be, you know, let that get sown into your heart, sown into your mind, into your ears, into your flesh. So we have to get the word in our face. We need to know the Lord. Don't let the situation over take you. And the Bible says to stay, that each one of you should stay, continue in the, wait, how, let me, how do you say this? But in each, any case, each one of you should continue to live the way God has given you to live. In that situation or circumstance, if you married that wrong person, don't worry, God knows how to shut the door. If your kids are, are, are messed up, all out in the street doing whatever they want to do, don't, and they come home and they play that, that funky music. I said funky, yeah. Whatever somebody else is doing, don't let it change. Don't let it change you. Don't let it comp make you compromise. Don't let it grieve you. Take it to the Lord and talk to him. Be who you are in Christ, his, his love, his beloved. Verse 20, each one of you should stay the way you were when God called you. Yeah, a lot of people would say to me, how, do you not, how are you just not moved by the situation and the circumstance? Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Don't lean on your own understanding. I know it hurts. And like I said, I'm not telling you to stay in anything abusive. Anything that, you know, does like that. If God's going to change things, he's going to change things. Hear the word of the Lord. Go sit with him in the daytime. Go sit with him in the nighttime. Sit up and roll over and speak to him quietly. He hears your heart. He knows your pain. And he wants to heal you with his love. His perfect love casts out fear. His love covers a multitude of sin. He knows how to love in you and love through you. So get up and go make the dinner anyway. Get up and go go do that good work. Do some artwork. <laughs> go out, plant some flowers. Go shovel some snow. The Lord is pleased with your love. He's pleased with you. You know why he's pleased with you? You keep coming. You keep getting up and you keep coming to him no matter how much the situation hurts. You set your heart right in his hand and say, Here, Father. Give me your thoughts. Give me your will. Give me your feelings on this thing. God has feelings. Or he wouldn't have made us have feelings. He's just not ruled like us in our earthly feelings. I pray for us to come up higher. I, I hope I said something that could be helpful to you to make you stronger in your faith so that you walk in Christ Jesus because I always feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over and over again but God's saying the same thing over and over and over again he's saying trust me follow me he's saying I am the light of the world all right so let's close this one up says here in John chapter 1, I read verse 9 and 10, but as many as received him to them, he gave the right to become the children of God to those who believe in his name, who were born not of the blood, not of blood, 
nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but born of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld, it says here, the, his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Now I know that they saw him, these disciples, they all saw him, and we didn't get to see him physically. But Jesus said, how did he say that now? When he was speaking to Thomas, blessed are those who have not seen me yet believe that I am. Believe that I've risen from the dead. Believe that nothing is impossible for God. Nothing is too hard for him. Lay your mind down at the cross and go beyond the cross. The comforter is with you. The true light that lights every man. Make, just be the one who goes beyond the cross. Beyond the flesh. Beyond the, the diabetes. Go beyond the cancer. Go beyond the, the, the jail sentence. Go beyond the thing that you did that was so evil in your mind. So hurtful to somebody else. God's not giving you a spirit. No, he's not giving you uh, condemnation. He's giving you the gift of no condemnation. He has set you free. Even if you're in jail, you're free. You know, no matter where we are, because we believe on the one who has set us free, we are free. You got to look at this word and you'll understand what I'm saying. You got to eat and drink this thing. The Lord is with us. Let the peace of the Lord transcend your understanding. He's taken us out of darkness, brought us into light. Live in the light. Live in God's love. Get the knowledge of his will. Get the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that you need in the word. Be filled with light, people. Because we have the true light living in our hearts. The true light is on your lips. The true light has been written on your thoughts. Huh? Get that mind of Christ stirred up in you by coming and sitting in the secret place of the Most High. By pouring out your heart before the Lord and letting Him manage those emotions. Letting Him teach you how to manage yourself. He gave us His Spirit. The Spirit teaches us self-control. Are we listening? He gives us a clear mind, the mind of, a, of Christ, His Son. He's given us everything that pertains to life and godliness. And we can do this thing today. We can do this thing tonight. We can do this thing in the afternoon because, you know, like the Bible says, the sun will not smite you by day nor the moon by night. Uh, Psalm 121. 121. <laughs> Use your salvation and your strength. Rest in the Lord today. And He will give you the desires of your heart. Be blessed, people of God. I love you. Bye bye. Thank you.